Hey, what is going on guys? It is another vegan back with another video today and today we're gonna be talking about leveling but more specifically Leveling to make your drums hit hard slap whatever you want to call it So before we get into it and I start talking about leveling understand that there is a lot of different ways to make your drums hit hard to you know increase the slap of your beat but this is just my way this is the way i make my drums louder this is the way i level my beats obviously as we progress as producers as mixers as engineers we change over time i do understand that gain staging is very important but we're going to be talking about that in a later video let's get straight into fl studio and let's make these drums slap man now i already have a beat made so i'm going to go ahead and bring all these faders back to normal so what i usually like to start off with is the kick so let's go ahead and just listen to this right here and let's get that to the level where we want it right so all right i already turned this to mono because that's what i usually do with my 808s and my kicks i want them dead center right in the middle i don't want them panning left or right right all right so now that i have my kick going let's hear that in relation to the 808 So I want my kick just to punch a little more. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up this channel volume and just turn it all the way up. Okay, so now I have my kick punching through a little better. One thing that kind of helps is side chaining. Um, I already explained this in the previous video, so I'm not going to go too in depth, but I'm just going to show you without and with. And then I'm going to show you with the side chain. Now, I personally like the loudest parts of my beat to be the 808, the kick, and the snare, and then everything else kind of comes after that. So let's go ahead and add the snare in next. Now, the default volume of that snare is a way louder than it's supposed to be. We're going to go ahead and lower the volume. I feel like when we mix using these faders right here, we tend to kind of mix with our eyes instead of our ears part. If you can't mix without your ears or you can't level without your ears, then obviously there's going to be a lot of discrepancies there. So let's go ahead and lower this kick just a little bit. All right, that's perfect. So let's go ahead and start adding these perks and hi-hats in and then start the leveling process of those two. So. Okay, so that's actually not that bad. I'm gonna lower it just a little bit. That's perfect right there. Let's go ahead and add the next one, which is another snare. Same thing. The level is pretty much good on its own. Now let's go ahead and add the next one in. I'm going to lower that about like a dB. Let's go ahead and add the next one, which is just this one little knock at the end of this bar right here. thing let's go ahead and add that so the first hi-hat same thing honestly that didn't even need any leveling volume was already perfect let's go ahead and add this hi-hat right here too I'm actually gonna raise that. There we go. Because that hi-hat is a kind of very important part to this bounce. So usually I won't I wouldn't have the hi-hats, you know, too loud, but just enough so that you can feel the bounce. And now the second hi-hats. And I'm actually gonna lower those second hi-hats about half a dB. There's some hissing 
This is this is more in the mixing, you know, kind of category. But there's some hissing in this uh, second hi hat here, right here. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and turn this out knob up. All right, that's a lot better. And now let's add in that first melody right now. All right, let's go ahead and lower that volume all the way down and then raise it until we get to a spot where we like it. Eight. So that's about a dB of gain right there. Now let's add in that second melody, which is the same thing, just reversed. So back to zero, and then let's raise that volume until we see fit. So from the normal volume, we pretty much took away about six dB. And now we have this kind of background melody in which I just pitched it up, added some reverb, and then panned it left and right just to kind of give it some movement. I'll let you guys hear that by itself. Let's put that down to zero and then let's do the same thing, rinse and repeat. And that's good about right there. So now let's go ahead and listen to this final leveled beat right here. And that's pretty much it guys that is a quick little video on how i level my beats and get them to slap to knock however you want to call it thank you guys for watching have a great day and i'll see you guys next time